Hi, my name is Brenda Romero, and I'm the game director on Empire of Sin. My name is John Romero, and I'm working on Empire of Sin in a lot of different areas. My great-grandmother's name was Elvira Duarte Morales, and she lived in Nogales, Mexico. Elvira was a real character. She used to walk around with a green parrot on her shoulder, and she'd smoke cigarettes and basically tell jokes with the parrot answering her all in Spanish. It was pretty funny. Elvira ran three brothels that she started uh, in Nogales. She did that for probably two decades until she won the lottery and she sold the businesses and she retired. I came up with the idea to use Elvira in the game. I absolutely loved her as a larger than life figure. Elvira was a badass powerful woman and I wanted to bring that badass powerful woman into Empire of Sin. She also was around in 1920 so this was a real woman who ran real rackets and I really wanted to bring her to life in this game and sort of I guess honor her and honor the works that she did. Elvira's boss combat ability is called Devil's Breath and what she does is she goes up to an enemy and then she breathes this purple smoke in their face and then she takes control of that enemy and uses the enemy to mow down their crew who's in combat with you and you get about three turns of, of this. After three turns, the, the character that you've taken control of dies. So it's a pretty cool ability. Minus the death bit of that, I would like that ability for Mother's Day. I want the ability to take control of the kids and have them do the dishes. Uh, their homework would be amazing to actually get their homework done. Um, I can think of all kinds of things. In the game, Elvita, looks like my grandmother, Socorro, who is one of Elvita's nine kids. The concept art was, was done after the picture and then the model was created after the concept art. And it looks just like my grandmother and it was amazing to see her in the game for the first time as my grandmother uh, holding a Tommy gun and mowing down enemies. It was pretty awesome. When I first saw Viria in the game, the immediate thing I recognized is, oh my god, she looks like John. I think the part that was the most obvious is that John has these gray streaks on the side of his hair, and Elvira has gray streaks on the side of her hair, and I actually think that was just a pure coincidence. I really hope people love playing Elvira in Empire of Sin. She is a absolutely fantastic character, and she highlights the kind of diverse cast that I wanted for this game. On behalf of everybody on the Empire of Sin team, I want to wish you a happy Mother's Day, especially you game dev moms and you gamer moms. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day.